God did not love righteous more than sinners. The love of God is beyond what we think about. God is not loving the way men do. God's love is beyond the sin people are committing. God loves people more than the sin they are committing. The love of God is greater than the sin of any individual. That is what we are going to discuss today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on my Facebook page at Anthony Ministry TV. And join me to share this gospel too so that we can save lives. And God will bless you as you do so. In the name of Jesus. The love of God is greater than the sin that any man is committing. God's love is beyond the iniquity of any individual. Sometimes we think that God loves righteous more than the way he loves sinners. But if you ask me, I will tell you that God loves sinners. Because the Bible makes us to understand even when we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The reason why Jesus came into the world was not because of the righteous. If it is because of the righteous, God wouldn't have sent his son Jesus into the world. Jesus did not come into the world because of the righteous, but Jesus came because of sinners. You that is watching this message right now, maybe you think that because of the kind of dirty life you have lived, or the dirty life you are living right now, that the Lord has rejected you, or that you are not qualified to come before God anymore. And the Lord decided to send this message across to you right now as you are watching me to tell you that God loves you more than the sin you are committing. God is not angry with, this, with any man. God is not angry with any sinner. But God is angry with sin that you are committing. The Bible makes us to understand the man called Paul when he was Saul. We remember all the atrocities Satan used him to commit. We remember all the tragedy he brought into the kingdom of God. And the Lord met him. Jesus met him on the way to Damascus. The Lord decided to show him mercy. And God not only showed him Apostle Paul mercy, but the Lord went ahead to use him to save others. That is why the love of God is beyond. The love of God is beyond what you think about. When God shows you love, his love covers more than the iniquity you you committed on earth. God's love is not the way men love. God's love is not the way husband love his wife and his wife love the husband. Only when they are doing well, they love each other. Imagine a married man, his wife did well that day. He's, he will love his wife and cherish his wife, talk about good things about his wife. But any day the woman made mistake, he will go ahead and scold on her and, the, and the abuse her. God's love is not like that. God is not loving the way brothers are loving sisters. Men are loving women. Sometimes when men claim that they love a woman, in giving them help, giving them financials, assisting them financially, assisting them materially, you know that that man have intention of helping that lady. There is something that man is expecting to receive in return for the help he is rendering to that lady. Which means that love is lost, is not love. God's love is not like that. God is not going to love you more because you are righteous. God is not going to love you more because you are born again. God is not going to love you more because you, you are now born again. You are living a sin-free life. God will love you now more than the sinners. No. The love of God is unique. The love of God is constant. The way God loves you when you are sinners, the same way he loves you when you are righteous. But the only thing is that if you are righteous, you will benefit from God's love. If you are righteous, it will be more profitable to you. Because the love of God is beyond the sins we are committing. Sometimes they said, oh, God will love the righteous more than the wicked. But the Lord is telling you today, he did not love the righteous more than the wicked. He loved them equally. The love of God is demonstrated in many ways. Whenever you see sunshine, you discover that anytime there is the sunrise, it will show everywhere, whether in the house of the righteous or in the house of the wicked. Even in the house of the wicked, beyond measure, the sun will show there. 
Wherever it is raining, it will rain everywhere. In the night, it will affect everywhere. When it is a cool weather, it will reach everywhere. When it is a hot weather, it will reach everywhere. That is the demonstration of God's love. And today, the Lord is telling you that He loves you. He loves you. Maybe as you are watching this message, you have lived a dirty life. There is a life you live. You live a life of sin. You have committed abortion. You have committed atrocity. You are a, you are a murderer. You have killed many lives. Maybe you are an robber. Maybe you are a witch. Maybe you are a wizard. Maybe you are a cultic man. You are a cultic woman. Maybe you are living in sin. You have committed atrocity beyond measure. And if God allow you to hear this message to tell you that He loves you. God is sending me to tell you that He loves you. Don't allow Satan to use your sins to keep you far from God. You know, sometimes when the devil wants to keep you far from God, he will try to tell you that God is angry with you. But I want to tell you that God never any day angry with any man. God never any day angry with any man. Because any time man is sinning against God, God is looking for opportunity. God is looking for every means to bring that man back because of his love. The Bible said, can a mother forsake her sucking child? The Bible said that it is not possible. And the word of God told us that even though a mother can do that, that he, almighty God, will never forsake us. Neither will he abandon us. So the love of God is beyond. If you are a killer, if you are a murderer, if you have committed abortion, if you have done a lot of things, you have sinned against God and sinned against man, sinned against humanity, you have done all sorts of evil. Remember the prodigal son. The prodigal son, Jesus told us about the prodigal son. Jesus used that prodigal son to give us an example of who we are to God and who God is to us. Jesus told us that the prodigal son squandered his money, lavished everything in righteous living. He lavished all his father's blessing in righteous living, in a useless life, in a, li in a sinful life, in a life of iniquity, he lavished everything. But a day came that the prodigal son said, Oh, my father have everything, many things. In. Why will I be here and dying of hunger? I will rise, I will go back to my father. And the prodigal son arose and went back to his father. And the prodigal son said that when he reached, returned back to his father, he will say to his father, I, I am no more worthy to be your son, but take me as one of your servants. But his father knew that he will never take his son as a servant. The prodigal son returning back, his father saw him and far off coming. His father went after him and hugged him and kissed him. I believe that the prodigal son will begin to imagine, despite that I have squandered all my father's property, despite I have squandered all my father's property, squandered my father's sweat, oh, how come my father is receiving me like this? Jesus told us that story to demonstrate how lovely God is, how lovely, how lovely God is to us. Jesus told us all this story in order to know who we are to God and who God is to us. Child of God, the blessing, the love of God is more than the sin you have committed. Even the sin you are committing right now. Child of God, the love of God for your life is greater than all your sins together. It's greater than all your iniquity together. Is greater than all your mistakes together. Is greater than all your sinful life together. Is greater than all that you think or imagine when you join them and combine them together. That is why God is using this platform to tell you, He loves you. Can you love Him back? He loves you. Please love God back by giving Him your life, by surrendering your life to Jesus. He loves you. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so and also follow me on my facebook page don't forget to share this message to many people forward this message to as many as you can and also like it comment on it and god will bless you may the peace of god and god of peace be with you in jesus name amen